Hi there, Skip here, and welcome to this week's E-Class. Now, first of all, this week's E-Class is based on commandment for health number one. Thou shalt oxygenate with correct exercise. So just say it with me, so we make sure it gets ingrained in your consciousness. One, two, three, thou shalt oxygenate with correct exercise. Now, you probably noticed, oh my God, what a crazy location, what the hell is Skip doing? I'm swimming out in the rain and doing what champions do. Why? Because you have to go the extra mile. You've got to make sure that you're not letting the season stop you doing what you need to do. You look at a marathon runner, it doesn't matter if it rains outside. They need to train the body. They need to do what's needed so that they get to become a champion. So no matter what happens, it's so important that you add commandment for health number one to your life. Now some of you might be thinking, or might be experiencing, right, when I've had a full day's work, I'm tired. I can't be bothered to move the body. That's the time where you have to make sure that you move the body. Now, it's very important that we understand where you're at, because clarity is power. And we wanna be making sure that we understand really where your, how you're moving your body, and also making sure, we, <laughs> also making sure that you are giving yourself the clarity that you need. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna create some awareness because awareness is the first point of any change. So I want you to become aware of really. Now, again, walking might be the only thing that you can do at this stage, it doesn't matter what it is. So number one is, I just want you to have awareness of how many hours you're moving your body. And it might be just simply walking. And I'm talking about moving your body in a very, very basic way. It could be putting your clothes on. Doesn't matter what it is, but we need you to be aware of that type of movement. Because in that movement, magic happens. We're born to move. Through motion, we create emotion. So how many, and you don't have to think about this in too much detail. I want you to just have the awareness, right, how much am I moving my body? Do I catch the lift instead of walking up the stairs? Do I park my car as close to the supermarket or as close to the shops as possible, or am I parking it further away so I get to add some more steps to my life? One of the things that makes the cells of your body weak is decreased workload. We wanna make sure that you are increasing your workload because that's what's gonna allow your body to become strong. So, number two, have the awareness of how much you're now moving your body where you actually get a little bit out of breath, where you're having to, whoo, this is like, whoo, this is pushing me. This is forcing me to breathe more oxygen in the body. The body needs oxygen. You can go months without food. You can, and this is proven. You could go days without water, but minutes without oxygen, liver cells, brain cells, everything starts shutting down and things start to, well, you could end up basically dying if you don't give your body oxygen. So we wanna make sure that you're doing some kind of exercise that takes your breath away. Now also, we can move our bodies so that we can sweat. And in that process, will, you'll need a recovery phase. Now, have the awareness. Are you pushing your body to the extremes? And the thing is, if you're not, you're missing out on really using this thing as an incredible piece of machinery. Your body is not weak. You have so much greatness to achieve by experiencing fun movement through the body. Now, the other thing that I'd like you to do is when you have this awareness, and in fact, first of all, we're not gonna move on through this E-class until you have that awareness. So remember, number one, how much are you just moving your body in a very, very simple way, just like walking, just like putting your clothes on, like walking up some stairs. Have the awareness of that. 
how many hours? Jot these down. How many hours per week do you think it is? Then number two, just to recap all these again. Number two is moving your body in a way that it takes your breath away. It could be some simple walking at a faster space, maybe jogging. It could be swimming. It could be cycling. It could be playing a game. Doesn't matter what it is. Something that takes your breath away so that your body is forced to suck oxygen in the body even more. And then number three, something moving your body that is making you sweat. Could be dancing. It could be actually going to the gym, lifting weights. It could be circuit training. It could be absolutely anything. Doesn't matter what it is. So we wanna have that awareness. So before we move on, pause this and actually just go with the feeling of, right, what do I feel? How much am I doing number one? How much am I doing number two? Number three. Write those numbers down so that you've got clarity. So pause this. Pause it. Pause this. Please do not move on until you've paused it. Otherwise you're gonna miss the beauty that this E-Class has to offer you. So stick pause on it. And welcome back. Now if you didn't go, please go back and do this part. So they're gonna take you a few minutes make sure you're doing the things I'm suggesting in these e-classes. The magic is in the detail. So, now you've done that, what I'd like you to do is draw a smiley face against all of those bits of exercise that you actually enjoy. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't actually enjoy any of this stuff. Now here's the thing, if you don't enjoy it, you're not gonna continue it. You're not gonna to continue to do this again and again and again, because why? You're gonna to need to get motivated. And we don't want you to have to get motivated to make sure that you're doing commandment for health number one. So, what we're gonna do now is you're now gonna find more fun ways that you can enjoy this exercise. Now this is gonna come from instinct, why? Because when you was a child and your parents took you to a playground, you didn't have to get motivated to move your body. You moved your body in fun ways. If they took you to a playground, you would crawl, you would jump, you would like hang on things and climb, and you'd do all of these things, and you'd even team up with people who you didn't even know and start playing games. So the idea is for you to increase the funness of you moving your body. Because when it becomes fun, you just look forward to it again and again and again. Why? because when you're doing exercise that you enjoy, what happens is endorphins get released from the brain and that's a chemical that naturally was created to allow you to feel good. The body was born to move. We want to move the body in all of these fun ways. Now, the moment for health number one. Thou shalt oxygenate with correct exercise. So what's the first part? Oxygenate. So we want to make sure that you're now breathing correctly as well. So that while you're breathing, most people aren't even breathing correctly. They're only using 20% of their lung capacity. Now you may have heard what I've said or what I'm saying before. Now if you've heard it before, that's fine. But the thing is, are you doing it? You have gotta make sure that this commandment for health, number one, is in your life every single day. It's essential, it really is. So, what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna do some simple things. We're just gonna breathe, but we're gonna do some conscious breathing. We wanna make sure that you are giving your body the gift of this oxygen. Now I wanna show you how to breathe, because most people do this, and they breathe that way. It's so the wrong way to breathe. As you fill up a glass of water, it fills up from the bottom going up. Now you're exactly the same. When you breathe in, we want to go and you fill this part up first so it goes and then that way all of the goodness starts to happen because you've got more lymph in your body than blood and lymph is what goes around your body and it gets rid of the garbage your blood has a heart that pumps the blood all around the body what pumps lymph around the body one of the great things is deep diaphragmic breaths so we want to make sure that we are consciously breathing in our diaphragm now we're going to do a very very simple breathing exercise and all we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for five hold it for five and then we're going to breathe out as much we're going to push all of that air out of the body 
So we've got no stagnant air left in the body because air, we want moving. Air that doesn't move is stagnant air. Literally, there's no air to breathe in. You look at the air in the caves, people go in there and there's been no moving air in there. They go in, the, go in these caves and the undergrounds and they literally die. So that's why they put a canary in like a coal mine. Because if the canary comes out, they know the air's been moving, the air's good to breathe. If the canary doesn't come out, they know it's dead air and they should not send people in the coal mines. So we're gonna breathe deeply in this part of the body, in five, hold five, and then we're gonna push it all out. And all we're gonna do is that times five, that's it. You can do this sat at your desk, you can do it anywhere. So here we go, we're gonna breathe in for five. So we go. Hold it for five. Push it all out. Breathe in for five. Hold it for five. Push it all out. Breathe in for five. Hold it for five. Push it all out. Breathe in for five. Hold it for five. Push it all out. One more. Breathe in for five. Hold it for five. And push it all out. Now doing that simple thing, you just gave your body such a gift. You're putting oxygen in the cells in your body. You're putting oxygen in your blood so that your blood can now deliver that oxygen all around your body. Now, make sure you have the awareness around Command of Health number one. You've got to have the awareness. You've got to add the funness to your movement. Be aware, number one, remember, just moving your body very lightly. Simple movement, simple stuff that you do throughout the day. Just walking putting your clothes on, climbing upstairs, doing simple things. Number two, moving your body in ways where you get slightly out of breath. And then number three, moving your body where you start to sweat, where you start, where you need a recovery, a rest and recovery from that movement. Now the key thing is, is to add funness, is to add clarity that the more you move, the more you're giving yourself the gift of commandment for health number one. One, thou shalt oxygenate with correct exercise. And I'm now gonna go and have a nice swim, despite the weather, because look at all these beautiful plants around. None of this stuff would be living if it wasn't for the rain. And most of us are shied off, and when it rains, we stay inside. When you start to become in alignment with nature, you don't care about the season. In fact, you celebrate every single season that life goes through. So really allow yourself to get connected with nature and please post what you're doing for this commandment on our social media pages and start to share how you're adding more enjoyment to the way that you're moving your body. And it'll be different to me, it'll be different to other people. Find your path because the body needs it. Anyway, I'm now gonna go for a nice swim. I'll skip, live strong, live healthy, live long. Make sure you live now with the nutrients, oxygen and water. But for now, I'm out of here.